always thought, as you did, that she was a little bit stiff in the body. Rudolova will show us what she can do here. By the Russian, age 19. originality move there, a double jump through the ribbon. As I was mentioning earlier about these originality moves, they have to be submitted to the FIG and then approved. And they only last for one year. So last year we had loads of original. Oh gosh, that's a bit of a silly mistake there. Well. Yeah, last year we had a lot of original moves in the routines. And this year we've hardly got any because they only last for one year. Another mistake from them. That's a shame it started out so beautifully. Yeah, the nerves are obviously just getting to her a little bit. Very elegant gymnast, though. This is the first time we've seen this gymnast in the apparatus finals, which is a shame because she's a really beautiful gymnast and very elegant, and she's very pleasing on the eye. Perhaps a little bit more so than some of the other gymnasts, but. Execution-wise, I think she's really letting herself down. Obviously, a couple of silly mistakes so far. And technically, I think she's going to get a very low mark for that routine. Mm -hmm. A lot of her combinations weren't very clean. Not showing a fixed position in a lot of the balances and leaps and very little height. I think we can expect better things from this gymnast in the future. Obviously, just the nerves just getting to her in this competition. I didn't think the ribbon behaved as well as it did with Lara either. Yeah, that's true. Her apparatus technique was poor. Well, having done a complete demolition job of her, we'll now find that the judge will give her 28 marks. <laughs> I think it's a lot more difficult for people at home now to actually justify the results of the gymnasts in their own minds because they can't see what's written down on the on the score sheets. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a deduction. If there's a difference of 1.5 between what's written on the sheet and what the gymnast actually performs, then the, the judges can take off another um, 0.5 off the mark. So you don't know that at home because you can't see the sheets but obviously that might be something that they're doing so that's why sometimes we see such low technical marks because on top of everything else that's been deducted and there we see it's 6.3 obviously there's been another extra 0.5 taken off and then if they don't count some of the um, movements that she's doing there's a margin to take an extra 0.2 off for that as well 